Welcome to people on so tonight. My name is Tyler and today I'm going to show you guys something I've been working on. Uh, this in particular is creating a transform effect for, uh, uh, for a robot form. So let me just show you. Um, so this is just like a base robot form uh, third person character. And then if I hit E, it will transform into a, a car. And then uh, once I stop and I hit F, it will transform it back to the uh, third person character. So when I was looking for uh, tutorials for this, I didn't really find any. I found one that had this basic idea of uh, converting uh, or changing pawns by just teleporting. So uh, before I knew about all this, disclaimer, I am not a professional at Unreal. Um, so this obviously could be improved uh, by someone who's better, but this is what I figured out uh, that worked. So my first main idea was uh, doing a skeletal mesh change, which is literally just like, I plays the animation uh, with the sound, and then I just changed the, the walk speed to whatever it was. So for the car, I put it for 2,000. For walking, I put it for 600. Um, and then I put a little delay here just so the animation could play and then it would set the new skeletal mesh. And then I realized that the skeletal mesh couldn't um, do physics, which is what I wanted because the tires also were not, um, they weren't rolling, which I also didn't like. So I ditched this idea and I went with uh, this pawn change idea where you have two separate um, entities where you have the a robotic form and then you have the car form and this way I could have the physics on the car and uh, the character could be by itself and whatnot so uh, the main idea basically is uh, you hit the button uh, so because of the physics I actually had to um, disable the inputs for the um, for when you hit the button just because um, sometimes uh, if you would look at the ground, the spawn would just completely break, which I'm sure um, someone could fix, but this is what I figured out. So basically I just disabled the input so the animation could go and it wouldn't be um, buggy. And then I set the uh, actor to enable collision and I needed to, or I set the uh, my animation to a different skeletal mesh, so this is why this is here. Uh, this is the same basic idea as this though. Uh, so I did the delay and then what I did was is since I wanted to change a pawn, you would hit unpossess. Um, and this is basically just getting the actor that is in control right now. And when you hit unpossess, uh, I set that actor that I unpossessed uh, to hidden just so you don't have duplicates everywhere. And then it spawns the new uh, car form and then this is all just uh, getting it to where the last position you were was, and then you possess it. So this is, yeah, this is basically the process of um, playing the animation and then unpossessing the actor and then spawning the new one in and possessing that, which creates a, a pretty good transformation from robot form to car form. Now, going back, it was slightly different. Um, I made some engine sounds, but don't worry about that. Um, so basically, uh, going back from car to robot form, uh, for this, I actually had to turn the physics off because when the physics were on, it would just completely break uh, the this disable input, like it would glitch into the ground. So I stopped the physics to help with that and then uh, make sure the actor enable collision is there and then uh, like I said this get set skeletal mesh thing is just for the uh, that's what the animation is based off of and then I do the little uh, delay here just so this can play out and it doesn't um, unpossess it instantly and then it's kind of just the same thing of just spawning the actor and then figuring out where the actor actually is and then possessing it so onto some like bug fixing and whatnot. So the car that I actually had, um, this is based off of the 90s Transformer toy. I didn't totally 
copy it fully just because I did not have the model so I couldn't get it perfectly but um, this is the basic idea of it and so the problem that I ran into was uh, the car has six wheels instead of four for whatever reason with the uh, the vehicle movement like basic blueprint it only it can in, it can allow up to four um, wheels but for whatever reason it breaks after like the fourth one so what I did was is just simulate uh, the main wheels I believe it was this or this one so one two three four and then these back ones I just had simulate these ones so in essence it is moving six but it's simulating like uh, one pair so that was the way that I uh, figured it out and I figured it out by watching a video which I will link in the description uh, so you guys can check out so yeah I uh, believe that is it so Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next video.